Hello everyone, this is Koichi Sakamoto. Let's have fun today. <laughs> so, restrictions for the shooting on the virtual set for uh, Ultra Galaxy 5 is uh, uh, because uh, uh, we're shooting against the green screen, then the, uh, you have to be sort of rely on your imaginations because there's no sets or no laser beams or no explosions, anything like that. So it's all done in the post-production for the uh, CG uh, graphics. So you have to plan well for a storyboard and it has to show exactly what's going to happen to explain all the crew and staff. So I have to explain everything to the uh, crew and also the performers to make sure everyone knows uh, what's going on. If you're shooting on the set, uh, you can see the uh, buildings or the, uh, or the uh, landscape, or you can see the explosions and stuff like that, but you have to imagine everything. So it has a good side and bad side. It's a good size, it's great, you can have, you can create an entire world, bad size, you can't feel it, you can see it, so you have to imagine everything. Ultra Galaxy Fight, its uh, uh, story is based on the, what's happened in the uh, Land of Light, Ultraman's uh, planet. So the, uh, there's no human characters involved. Uh, most of the time it's uh, all Ultraman themselves. Uh, uh, you know, they deliver dramas and uh, the story takes on what's, what they're doing and stuff. So I do miss uh, uh, human characters or actors, their smiles and everything. Uh, but also I have a great fun working with uh, uh, all the guys in costumes just because uh, that's what my background is. I used to be a stunt performer for a film and TV series. I used to perform as a superhero when I was younger too. So I know exactly what's going on and I feel like home, you know, working with these guys. So that, uh, it's a different kind of fun, working with actors, working with the stunt persons. Uh, so I still have a, a lot of fun with them. <laughs> so this is a very difficult question. My personal favorite Ultraman. It's a lot of my personal favorite Ultraman is out there. Um, I do have a very strong attachment to the Ultraman Zero and Ultraman G, just because uh, I introduced them. I was also Ultraman Victory. But uh, my all-time hero Ultraman is uh, Ultraman Leo, because uh, when I was young, I saw him on the TV for the first time. Then uh, I was very shocked to see him fighting using the karate style, or like a Bruce Lee style. He used ninjas and he used a lot of karate chops and karate kicks and stuff and it was my like, hero. So I still love him and I do try to put him into my films or TV series as, as much as I can. Uh, so I would say my personal favorite, my hero is Ultraman Leo and my personal attachment to the Ultraman Zero, Ultraman Victory and Ultraman Jeet. And my favorite kaiju is a very difficult question too. There's a lot of good kaijus out there. But uh, when I was little, the, the kaiju gave me most impact was uh, Zeton. Just because uh, uh, he went, you know, uh, Ultraman almost died. So I, but the first time I saw the show, uh, it's the last episode of Ultraman, it's very shocking because, uh, you, you know, you don't really, you know, imagine your hero lose by a kaiju. So the Zeppelin gives me a very, very big impression back then, and it still does, so I still scared of him. <laughs> so yes, uh, my favorite uh, is maybe Zeppelin. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, Ultra Series next year will be uh, 55th anniversary. Uh, it's a long time going series, and uh, I hope you enjoy the new ones, the old ones. There's a lot of different choices out there. Uh, I do enjoy them, I do enjoy making them, I do enjoy watching them, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. We are right in the middle of shooting a brand new Ultraman series called Ultraman Z. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the new heroes, uh, new Ultraman. Uh, he's uh, a student of the Ultraman Zero, and we also have a robot team, it's like Sevinger, uh, Wyndham. Uh, they have a great adventure together. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And also that you enjoy Ultra Galaxy Fight. Uh, uh, it should be available, you can watch it anytime. And it uh, uh, has a lot of action and a lot of different Ultraman, especially newer ones, we, we call new generations. And uh, if you like the first Ultra Galaxy, we might be planning on something more. So hopefully you guys stay tuned and watch us and have fun. <laughs>